Good morning and welcome back to another beautiful Friday. It's, uh, it's a very nice day today and we are looking at 10 on my list. A total of, uh, I believe, 12. Um, we're on the website, but you know, after eliminating the estate sales and one that was pretty much in South Carolina, uh, we're down to 10 for today and already looking at close to 30 for tomorrow. But that's enough, uh, enough uh, talk from me. Let's, uh, let's get to it and I'll see you at the first one. How you doing? I'm going to put it in and come back and look at it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning.
she might find. And then we'll put them back. Here, let me hold this. Let me come around here. Let's see how it's going to look. And then here's the more. How are y'all doing? Fine, how are you? Good. What do you have on your binoculars and your camera? Just how about making me an owl? Uh, five for the pair. Perfect. All right. How about that? That is awesome. <laughs> We had to do some finagling, but we yeah. got to do that. Well, good. She didn't want to take it apart, so. 
Yeah, something smells good. I have a pizza bacon. That's probably what it is. <laughs> it does. Hi, puppies. Hi. You're like, what is that? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> just give me a uh, 21. And what you have? Oh. Okay, so twenty five fifty pedals. I can carry it out for you. You mind if I start a pile up here? No, you can right, feel, thank feel you. free. Go right here. Yeah, that's over. It's terrifying. <laughs> See what we got. We got one dollar. Some of the Two dollars. Three dollars. Four dollars. I think so. All right. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I think all that. How's it going? Okay. It's a nice day out today. It really is. Back from a great Friday. You couldn't have asked for a better Friday. Um, overall numbers uh, on just product for the uh, for the store. 
I spent fifty six dollars and fifty cents. That's subtracting the the whatever I bought for around the store, which I'll go over some of that stuff as well. You'll see it in the video also. Uh, low end projected or estimated um, resale value of anywhere between eight hundred and seventy three and nine hundred and fifty dollars. The reason why that is such a wide gap of unknown is because of this stained glass lampshade. Um, I gave $4 for this and it can be anywhere from $50 to $200. I'm actually going to put this one up for auction. You know, probably start it you know, at $19.99 and just see what happens. So that's that's where the unknown and the difference between you know 873 not counting it upwards to 950 bucks just average amount uh, that I hope to get for it. Um, so let's get started on all the good stuff. Got this. It's a Ginsu Essentials uh, knife set. It's a 13 piece. The box says 14 piece, but it would be 14 with the butcher block. Um, and uh, there is uh, the butcher block is not here. So 13 piece purple colored uh, Ginsu knife set. I gave $10 for this. And my, uh, if it had the block, it'd be about $70. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I estimated about $50 for this uh, without the block. Next, at the same sale, I got a pack. It is um, it's Eric. It's a ten pack Erico welding material, uh, Cadwell Plus. This one, um, I've got two two uh, two windows pulled up here. One, they bid it out, and it did not bid for anything. Uh, you know, ten dollars plus ten shipping. This will be a buy it now item, and the buy it now comparable comps are about eighty dollars for this. So I went ahead and factored eighty dollars on this, and I gave five dollars for it. So I will. I, I'm willing to take an offer on that. You know, like sixty bucks, fifty bucks, anything like that. Got these body procs. Protective shorts, brand new sealed. These are a size small. Got these at a church sale. I gave a dollar for these. Uh, recent sales at, you know, Halloween day, uh, $40 for this. So that's that's a good find. Another church find was the Action Jackson action figure. This one does have some case damage, but I only gave a dollar for it. And you know you can just take it out of the case, put it on the shelf. This is about fifteen to twenty dollars, and like I said, it's only a dollar. So even if it doesn't sell, you know, no big loss. Also at the church sale, got two of these. They are uh, K Basic meat tenderizers. These are brand new with tags still, both of them. Gave a dollar a piece for these, and these are selling just recently sold for seventeen dollars and fifty cents. So I'll probably post it for nineteen ninety nine, uh, and accept a best offer somewhere near the seventeen fifty. Good find on that. Church sale as well. Gave a dollar. These are Ozong Youth. Waiters. Uh, I have. I, I gotta find the size on them. But recent sales on these, um, thirty-seven dollars plus twelve shipping. So you know, like fifty bucks. And gave a dollar for them. Got the Mattel Monster High Draculaura plush uh, rag doll. Gave a dollar for her. And recently sold thirteen dollars plus twelve shipping, uh, so you know, like twenty four ninety nine probably with free shipping. Kind of creepy, but you know, anything you make a dollar on. Picked up this. Uh, it's a Nikon 
in 2020. I got to clean it up, test it out, make sure everything works with it. Um, but if it if it checks out good, looking at about uh, the one that just sold uh, yesterday was forty five dollars plus twenty six shipping. So I'm really hoping it works. If it doesn't, it's probably still a thirty forty dollar camera. I gotta, I gotta do some research on this. I don't even know how this thing opens up or anything like that. So I do have to do some research on that. But I gave two dollars and fifty cents on that, and it'll, it could turn out to be, you know, um, 70, 60, 70 bucks. Uh, also at that same yard sale, got these Kmart Focal binoculars, complete with the manual. This exact setup right here just sold for $23. So gave $250 for it, turned it into $20. Bucks. Not too bad. Um, a General Electric electric slicing knife. Gave $2 for this, and one just sold earlier this week for. $22 plus 11 shipping, so that's $30 for a $2 bill, you know. Also at that same yard sale, got this, uh, it's a hanger and it's a brush. It breaks down just like that. Kind of cool. Uh, I gave... I want to say I gave $2 for this and one just sold for $25 plus six shipping. So 30 bucks for this. I don't know why. <laughs> A pair of hockey, hockey pants, uh, padded hockey pants. Gave, I wanna say $2 for these. And a pair just sold two days ago for Seventeen dollars plus nine shipping, so you know twenty four ninety nine free shipping on these. It's probably what I'm going to post those at. Also, at that same sale, got a sharp scientific calculator. This was part of a lot deal. Um, in with all the video games I got today, so say fifty cents to a dollar for this, uh, and it just sold for thirteen dollars plus five shipping so um, you know eighteen bucks I'll probably do fourteen ninety nine free shipping on it not bad not a bad turnout on that and then we're gonna get into the games here got this stack of games here fifty cents per game and then a dollar for the DVD set you know for fifty cents a game I just went ahead and grabbed them all wasn't gonna sit there and pick through them uh, so I'm just going to go through a few. Most of them are going to be $5.99 games, uh, or as my dad likes to call them, pickles. But there are a few good ones in here. Um, you know, the Cabela's North American Adventures, uh, you know, $10. Oh, well, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Um, no, disc only sold for 10 This one's a $19 game. Uh, there was a NBA 2, 2K12 for $13. A Rapala Pro Bass Fishing for $23. You know, the Red Dead Redemption Special Edition with the slip sleeve, complete with map, uh, 20 bucks. Uh, I'm going to bundle up the Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2 and do $20 for the pair of those. The one that surprised me, I would not have looked twice at this. I would have, you know, I would have tossed it in the trash, honestly. Was the NCAA Basketball 2010. Surprised me because this one just sold today, complete with manual. $49 and $4 shipping. 50 bucks for a 50 cent game that I wouldn't have looked at twice, you know. Uh, you know, the Grand Theft Auto 4 
Greatest Hits, thirteen dollars. And then the uh, that that Zumba Fitness Latin Workout Routine is sixteen dollars. And I gave a dollar for the DVD set. So you know the miscellaneous games, five ninety nine a piece. There's a few more, a few more in here that are worth maybe you know, eight, nine, ten dollars. So I have all these listed. And they're all they all have the manuals. They're all in great shape. The guy had a PS3 as well, but it looks like his dog had knocked the PS3 off of whatever it was sitting on, damaged the corner, and then chewed up one of the controllers. And I just didn't want to risk having a system floating around here when I literally have two great condition PS3 sitting behind me still listed in the store but that's it for uh, no it's it's not I'm sorry We've got six of these they're uh, Milani I think they're foundation or highlighter I, I, I don't know makeup but there's six of them in here different uh, different shades you know, like the Dolce, Piera, Rosa, I don't know. But I gave $5 for all six. They were asking a dollar each, but I gave five for six. And these are selling for anywhere from 7 to $10 a piece. So normally I wouldn't touch makeup, but, you know, if the price was right and it was there, so I grabbed it. And also, because why not? Another Brunswick Bowling Ball. This one will be listed along with the other ones I still have. $49.99 plus $25 shipping. That $25 shipping just covers the shipping on one of these things. And I think I even shipped that one out to like Washington State or California or something. It was $20 bucks to ship it. And then some items for around the house. A complete sleeve of these uh, solar-powered step lights. These are going to go out on the deck, or maybe once I get the fence built out front, they'll go on the fence. And then for here, right up above me, I've got LED recess lights already installed above me, but these are a lot brighter. And unfortunately, I got these for resale, but there's, I mean, you can get a six-pack for twenty bucks anymore. So there's really no resale on these. I gave a dollar a piece for these. And I'll have these swapped out. They're much. They're going to be much brighter than what I'm running right now. I believe that is everything for today. Oh, I also picked up. It is a pivot point mannequin head. These are mainly used by um, you know, hairdressers for training, but I picked it up for here in the shop so I can you know display hats sunglasses maybe I'll pierce the ears so I can do earrings eventually but uh, they had this price for ten dollars this was my main goal of getting this today I saw this in one of the pictures uh, that they had posted and I wanted it and needed it uh, mannequin head for around the shop uh, I gave five dollars for it so that's another item not getting resold but so. And like I said, spent a total of, I mean, uh, I also, go ahead and minus that. It's a wizard pen. Got that for 50 cents at one of the yard sales. Um, so really I spent $56 on product today. And with the unknown lamp, you know, $56 turned into, let's just go ahead and round it to the middle, $900. So I'd say better than last weekend where it was 70 into 900. This weekend it's 56 into 900. So uh, already looking at, let me see. We are already looking at 28 for tomorrow. Now obviously some of those are going to be repeats of today. So my, if I just go ahead and subtract the 12 from today, I'm looking at 16 for tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be a very busy, hopefully very productive day. I definitely got to hit up the ATM and pull some more cash and go ahead and gas the car up again. Did well over 150 miles on the car today. But other than that, it was, uh, it was a very productive Friday. And, you know, 
I'd love to hear about your Fridays down in the comments. Uh, let me know what all y'all found this weekend. And uh, you know, if you like this video, you'll see some more of my videos here on the screen and the subscribe button on the screen as well. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Maybe share the video. Help me get out there a little bit. Other than that, y'all have a wonderful Friday and I will see you tomorrow.